Good morning, Loop community. This is Jason of Lee Park Worship, and I'm the music director here at Lee Park Church. I'm standing where I stand every Sunday in our beautiful sanctuary, and there has been a few questions about how to uh, get your Prime 7 into Dante, whether you've been thinking about using Dante or whether your church is already using Dante. I just want to show you in a few quick, easy steps how to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Dante virtual sound card. And I'm going, I've already started ours. Uh, so you just start your Dante card, which is going to allow that to talk to the network. And it's basically like if you're in a recording studio, you use an interface. This is basically a virtual interface that you'll use. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Dante controller. And right here, this is showing my MacBook Pro. And I want it to go to my front of house. I've got it going to two different places um, here. So my multi-track, which is for our broadcast mix, uh, and then to the front of house. So right here, I'm going one, which is uh, typically your click and cues. Uh, I'm sending that to the correct Dante channel that I have selected for it, and then my loop is going to the corresponding Dante channel uh, for the front of house. And then also for uh, my Mac Studio, which is our broadcast mix, here I'm uh, routing it where it should be. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up your Prime 7 app. And over here, you'll see the settings wheel at your top right hand corner. You click on that, and just like you would for any other routing uh, that you may be using, whether it's uh, Type-C to uh, XLR or whatever you're using. Now, I'm using a Type-C to network over here, uh, a dongle, and then you're going to click on Audio. And right here, they've added these output devices. Now, previously in the other versions, uh, you would have seen devices up here in your top left hand corner and now it's in its uh, sub menu here in your settings. So as you can see these are what I've used. Uh, you've got your speakers which are automatically going to uh, connect. You select Dante Virtual Sound Card and then you get back out of it. And that is really as simple as it is. Now what I'm going to do uh, the last thing you need to do is go into uh, system settings and you make sure that your Dante Virtual Sound Card is your output for the Mac. And then when that's done, uh, I'm going to let this track play here. And it's that simple. You've got sound going to where you need it to go. And that is it. So I hope you've... Uh, Learn something with this. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me uh, personally at jfraley at leeparkchurch.org.